Quail farming was once one of the most lucrative businesses in the country. Before it, it went bust. Farmers in Western are, however, still reaping big from harvesting wild quails. The birds, which are harvested twice every year, are still in high demand in Western region, where the consumption began many decades ago. Willie Lissiga reports. In 2014, the craze for quail farming hit Kenya. So promising was the business that poultry farmers replaced chicken with quails or reared the two birds concurrently and expected huge returns. The craze for quail and its eggs grew so fast in the country, it was around this time that most commercial quail farmers were ditching the venture that had been labeled as scam after farmers failed to get market for their birds. <laughs> The much hyped quail eggs, which were claimed as a highly medicinal, had also lost market when consumers failed to see immediate changes in their bodies after they ate them. But in Western Kenya region, the wild quail business began decades during the ancestral period. And even after the collapse of quail farming in Kenya, in Western region, the business never experienced any challenge and it has been thriving on daily basis. <laughs> Aswani grew up watching his grandfather and his father harvest wild quails in Mundeku village, Husero in western Kenya. The birds, which were harvested twice every year, following short and long rains, were available in plenty between May to July and November to February. These childhood experiences will drive him to quail farming in 2014. Interestingly, it was around this time that most commercial quail farmers who had jumped on the project, which was then hyped as a money spinner, abandoned the business when they couldn't find market for the birds. Ah, what when you in Western Kenya, quail farmers keep indigenous quails that are harvested from the fields. Farmers capture and keep them in these special weaved buckets. They hung them in trees and used their songs to attract other wild quails to their homesteads. Special traps are strategically placed in the fields where wild quails' paths can be found. The birds are locally known as a sindu and have been part of meals in many Western Kenya dinner tables for decades. They are fed and kept like chicken, but they cannot be released out of these buckets until they are sold. They are roasted and often eaten with ugali. But there is a rare kind of quail buyers who are not welcomed by any quail farmer because of their repercussions.
Lakini kama wewe ni mwenyeji kama ni jarani ukitaka iko mimi nitakupa tu lakini ukitoka mbali unataka moja siwezi kupatia. Ukikuja kama unaitisha unataka moja na ziko mingi siwezi kupatia. Nunua mbili au tatu kwenda mbele. Lakini moja hapana. Ukikuja unataka ni kama nimejua kama wewe ni muganga siwezi kupatia. According to Aswani, changing times have made it impossible for farmers to lay on wild quails which only appears seasonally and are scoring the need for the country to establish a sustainable breeding program that will ensure quails are available every time. Ikiisha bia wewe binadamu kwa dunia lazima utaisha. The natural grassland areas in most parts of western province where wild quails are harvested are fast disappearing due to increased farming. Hivi tutangu nianze imenefaidi siku mingi zaidi. Kwa ajili nikishika nikiuza na nanuanga makuku. Hata nikipata mingi ziku za watoto kwenda kwa shule zinasaidia kwa fees. There was a time there was a big boom in the market of quails in the whole country but later things went south but here in western region these birds also known as isindu are still marketable and plays a bigger role in the birds industry we will segregate news kwesero in the county of kakamega well next time i am in kakamega county in kwesero